Thule Air Base is host to officers and airmen who are training and practicing air-to-air -air rocketry prior to entering the worldwide USAF rocket meet at Yuma, Arizona. Personnel work long and hard to perfect their skill as the Northeast Air Command picks four primary and two alternate air crews to represent the command. Air crews of the 59th, 61st, and 74th Fighter Interceptor Squadrons are preparing for the rocket competition. The 74th Fighter Interceptor Squadron at Thule Air Base is the descendant of the famed Flying Tigers commanded by Major General Claire L. Chenault during World War II. The Northeast Air Command entries will be flying the Northrop F-89D Scorpion, a twin-jet all-weather fighter interceptor weighing more than 20 tons. The F-89D is the world's most heavily armed jet interceptor. It carries 104 rockets, each of which is capable of destroying a bomber. They can either be fired in small groups or in salvo. firing passes, the pilot and the radar observer never actually see their target. The run is made under the hood. The target is picked up and tracked right up to rocket release time by an interceptor airborne radar set, and the rockets are automatically fired by an electronic fire control system. The reason for this is to simulate as closely as possible conditions which parallel their all-weather missions. The giant interceptors are designed to search out and destroy hostile aircraft at night and in all kinds of weather. Baffin Bay Rocket Range, the world's northernmost range, is used for this practice. The tow target, or RAG as the interceptor crew calls it, is a six foot by 30 foot polythylene radar reflective panel which is towed 5,000 feet behind the tow aircraft. The practice pays off when the Northeast Air Command fighter crews top all other overseas commands in the competition.